Hello and welcome to Nickel City X-Wing and coverage of the X-Wing Team Championship 2021. Today we have got Rafi versus Daniel. It's Hungary versus the United States. Game two of this series. US is currently up 1-0. Can anyone guess which obstacles Daniel brought? Does anyone have any idea which three obstacles could have been Daniel's? The stream is on a 90 second delay per XTC rules. So uh, it's going to be real awkward for me. I'm a big like work with chat kind of guy. And, uh, you know, that's fine, though. It's fine. USA won their first matchup six to one against Sweden. And we look at Daniel, who's going to be setting up. Daniel won the role and actually chose to be first player. As we have a lot of I-1s in this list, he wanted the first dabs at the blocks. And he is now going to set up his Trade Federation drones. Daniel is flying the Confederacy of Independent Systems Separatists. He's got a fully loaded Zam Wessel with Treacherous, Count Dooku, Thermal Detonators, False Transponder Codes, and a Hull Upgrade. And then he's got five just regular old, nothing on them, Trade Federation drones. As for Rafi, he's flying Rose Tiku with C-3PO, pretty standard there, and four Blue Squadron rookies with BB Astromex and Jamming Beams. Don't think we'll see any Jamming Beams today, but it's a free upgrade. Why not? BB Astromech is cool. Before you reveal a blue maneuver, you can spend a charge to do a barrel roll. Hex is wondering if Daniel and him are fighting, perhaps. Might be, you might be. Again, 90 second delay, so. I'm like responding to something and then being like, why aren't they saying anything? And then realizing, oh, it's because they haven't seen it yet. So Daniel spreads his Trade Federation drones out. It's a little unconventional, I would say. I wonder if he's planning on bringing them in together just because their inherent calculating ability to share with network calculations is so good. You want them kind of in a ball together. I expect these X-Wings will be fairly close to each other. That is exactly what Rafi is doing. Betting is open, I think. I hope. I don't know if Cloudbot's working right now. Uh, turn Cloudbot off. Turn it back on again. See if bets will go through this time. Yeah. They are going through. If you put in bets, re uh re put your bet in. Desi says we saw jamming beams be useful yesterday versus Shock T. It was. That was a pot shot and it actually really played a big role. Yeah, that jamming beam kind of turned that game around. So the players are discussing saying that just in case anyone's mod hasn't been cached or refreshed. Chris from Lancaster, thank you so much for the resub. Eight months. Appreciate it, buddy. Flyover Squadron, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. Epi, epi, epi. Oi, oi, oi. 
Sub hedgehog. Had to go to the office today. Said first time for a year and a half. Good Twitter follow that sub. Betting is open. One for Rafi, two for Daniel. Looks like dials are being set now. If there is something wrong with the board state, I cannot interfere. You know my policy for uh, games, if it's a must, I'd interfere. But for this tournament, uh, we are not allowed to talk to the players at all. Rafi has declared that he is ready. Daniel. Take a moment. He says he's ready. And we are ready to go. Timer has started. XTC 2021. Round two action. US versus Hungary. Rafi versus Daniel. Here go the Trade Federation drones kind of turning in towards each other to get up like we said. Calculates all around. Red flipping foils to close. And a two bank. And will barrel roll. Remember T70s have boost naturally not barrel roll so in order to barrel roll they need to close foils or use that bb estimate blue tactical bump there green one forward leaving foils open yellow will close foils or one bank and you really only close foils if you want a barrel roll can try to barrel roll left, can't do it. Rose now. One forward. And we'll get two calculate with C3PO. And last but not least, Sam, the one hard. And we go back to dial. 73 minutes left. The first round of positioning is away. Both players have jousty type lists, but aren't particularly lined up for joust. The X-Wings more so than the Separatist squad here. Hey, thank you, Chris, for all you do. Thank you. Got a new camera angle today. A little bit lower. A little bit more dead on. Thought you guys would benefit from my face. Instead of that super high, like, Instagram model angle that makes you look all thin. I was like, no, I'm fat. I gotta know the truth. Raven Wing saying, let's go USA. Like Daniel's dials are set. Hey, uh, Chris, there was a, uh, a nickel reset yesterday. So make sure you got nickels you bet with. You don't have nickels, you can get nickels. Uh, just by hanging out and chatting. It's the easiest way to get nickels. Uh, you get nickels from subs and stuff, but you know, you don't have to do that. 
Just wait a second. Those nickels are going to come to you. They'll get there. Start of the month, we reset the nickel count. Looks like we're good to go here. Round two, red. And a barrel roll. Could link it. Don't know if he's going to. Doesn't look like it. Daniel has these colored weird. He's got them colored on the... On like the ship itself instead of the bottom. Blue will take a barrel roll. Calculate there after the bump. As foil still closed. And a another barrel roll or the red X Wing. Yellow now. We'll keep wings closed. And we'll barrel roll in front of the cloud. It's a weird choice, but remember does have the BB Astromech on it. So if he dials in a blue next turn, he will be able to barrel roll beforehand. Kind of like a supernatural. Blue will close foils. And we'll also barrel roll. So both players being kind of cautious in their approach here. I mean, the, the resistance has got beef. They got beef, they got firepower. The Separatists have Zam, the best ship here. And... <clears throat> Zam will boost left. That does clear. Zam does come with Dooku. No shots available. We go back to dials with about 68 minutes left. Chris from Lancaster says, I think Rafi may have this one. The Seppi Swarm doesn't have enough numbers to dominate the resistance, in his opinion. Yeah, um, I think if this was like one-on-one -on -one straight joust, you might be correct. But it looks like they're spreading out their lines a little bit. It's kind of uh, reminiscent of like colonial warfare, you know, like two lines going across instead of like blocks of ships firing at each other here. And don't discount Zam. Zam is the key to all this for Epionic. Zam is the heavy hitter in this list. And one other thing. Zam, Zam and Rose can initiative kill, but Rose isn't going to one-shot anyone. Zam can't one-shot an X-Wing. Even, even four dice on an X-Wing is not enough to one-shot it. So there's going to be a lot of simultaneous fire in this matchup. Normally, when I when I pick my favorites, I count the red dice per side, and I go with that. We've got 14 red dice for Rafi. We have got 13 for Daniel. So it's a pretty even matchup as far as firepower is concerned. Let's 
slight edge to Rafi here. I want to say thank you to everyone who's followed while I was offline. Got a lot of follows lately. Thanks to XDC. Appreciate you guys. We're on our way to a thousand. Ninety-three short. A couple months. We might be celebrating a thousand followers. That's pretty cool. The dancing cake tin. Thank you so much for the resub. Four months. Appreciate you. White four forward. He's in front of that cloud. He will roll as he combo that into a calculate. Find out. He does. Five forward or blue. Calculates. Bank there. We get a barrel roll. Will barrel roll. I think you should calculate here. Just to add another one, there could be shots. We haven't been able to get a bet in. Now is the time to try. So it looks like shots are a coming. Blue X-Wing activates. Uh, open wings. Unbanks and will focus. Green. Wings already open. One forward. World stream. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you joining us. Open wings. Reveals a blue two bank and will spend a charge from BB. We'll take that barrel roll. And banks. That ends up on the cloud. We'll have to roll for a strain. Lands on crit. Never punished. Red. Will open foils. Rebank. And focus. Rose Tiku now. That is a two forward. And will coordinate. I'm assuming a focus to yellow. Gets a stress and a calculate for her trouble. Yeah, sorry, Chris. Cloudbot is a little bit behind today. Sam? Two banking. Don't think she can boost forward. Does have FTC, might be thinking about a target lock. Will attempt it. Oh, and by the skin of her teeth, gets it. False transponders jams the focus off of blue. Sam, the first one to fire. This is a range three obstructed shot onto the blue X wing. So 3v4. Sam does have that target lock. And 
we'll just stick with one. Doesn't want to spend that lock yet. And two evades plus a cloud, three evades, all good. No shots for Rose, and now we go to the ones. Red, a shot is on to blue here, and that's what's going to be. 2v3 here from red. Red will spend the calculate for two. Blue rolls, and that is a shield. is on to green for one and green will opt to take a shield range three on the green now range three again two on three not a great roll For nothing. So I don't think you have that many nickels to begin with. Just thousand ninety. There's some natties on to yellow here. And yellow I would would spend the focus. Yep, spends the focus. Takes no damage there. Last but not least, white. Range two into yellow. Two hits again. Yellow. We'll take two shields. So clinking away. Wasn't able to really focus fire, but that's okay. Let's see if these X Wings can punish. Anyone in return. Blue now has Zam range three obstructed. Range three onto red. Hit crit coming in to the red. Okay, Federation drone. We'll spend blues calculate one and take a crit. And that is a damaged engine. The green fighter now. now. Let's have range three onto red here or range two onto blue. Range two onto blue. Focusing for two. Blue. Two evades. Gotta be more decisive. Son. Gotta, gotta bet for it. Happens. Red range three onto white. So another 3v3 shot here. And can spend for two. One hit. That's going to be a damage on the white. Range two on the white now from yellow. does not have their focus we go back to dials Zam card is revealed range 3 obstructed 
you want a bonus attack. I think... Perhaps there was a missed opportunity to Dooku and evade on Red's roll that perhaps could have saved damage. We'll never know. Now we are in the nitty gritty. This is where the maneuvering, the blocking becomes so important. That is exactly what Hexile said, Sub. He's like, is, is this Daniel mad at me? 55 minutes left. No points just yet. But two of these vultures are indeed on the brink of giving up points. The yellow X-Wing has taken the most damage and is down two shields. Two other X-Wings have lost a shield. Even though Daniel technically did more damage in that engagement, it kind of feels like a loss on the engagement for Daniel, you know? It's with a, such differenti differential in health and the amount of red dice you can sling. Not being able to focus down an X-Wing and perhaps get one off the board is really going to be part of it. I believe right now the U.S. is up one nothing in games in this series. Seven games total, best of seven wins. So this could mean a 2-0 start or a 1-1 tie. We will be streaming Marcelo. Marcelo. We will be streaming Marcel on Saturday. I was trying to get Marcelo's game, but they confused the time and date and I wasn't able to do it. Oh, so close yet, yeah, so far away. We've got a lot of games though. No shortage of XTC games out there for us to stream. I am excited for them. Keep in mind, Red does have a damaged engine. Red Vulture. Setting dials. Flyover Squadron asking who won. Don't know. Don't know what you're referring to. And that's because whatever I said happened 90 seconds ago. That made you type that, and I have the memory of a goldfish. We're ready to go here.
Red, first to move, two forward. Going to barrel roll to the left. And we'll link that into a calculate. Loop, two forward. We'll roll to the right, looking for blocks. Thank you, how's it going? How are you? What? Charging in. Thinking about barrel rolling into a calculate. Will denial not do that? They said US up will yes. Okay, so I asked Daniel what the score in the series was. He told me it was one nothing US. I do not know who won. I'm sorry. Wish I had more info for you. We go. Let's see what these X wings got in store. Yellow. Two Harding. And a focus. Green, gonna flip and reveal a dial. Going right over that cloud. Have to roll. Never punished. Red now. One bank. And we'll spend a BB charge to barrel roll left. And we'll execute that one bank. Squirrel Stream says the first game was Dash Wedge Jake versus Kylo Von Reg and the Aces won that. Just Kylo and Von Reich? That is great. Great work to pull out a win with just Kylo and Von Reich. Hey, we haven't had one of these in a while. Those will check coordinate range. I have a feeling that blues days on this earth are numbered. Gonna give a target lock to red. Red will. Take a target lock. I'm gonna go ahead and take it onto I don't know what color. Daniel has them called stripes, but that doesn't help me any. Sam over the cloud gets the strain. Punished always. Sam first to go in the combat.
Green is missing a shield, and you got three shots on green. And does have a lock on blue, though. And also pour fire into blue. So this looks like going into green here, Sam. Range two obstructed into green, so this is three v three. Sam does have Dooku available. That is one hit and evaded. Throws down. Range one into white. Two rerolls available. Rose's ability. Two rerolls, but doesn't need them. Natty's hit, hit, crit. Then to calculate one crit into white. And it's a direct, and white is initiative killed. Red, range one obstructed on the green. Or two. Cloud will turn one. One shield down on green. Blue. Range one of unobstructed in the or a crit. That will be a shield down. What Zimitik said, that's what it's for. Does it actually do that? No. But, you know, it makes it feel better. Two hits. Range two now. In the red. Ends to calculate. Two. And red will take a shield to preserve their focus. I think Rafi kind of smells blood in the water right now. Blue. Assuming range one into blue. Natty evades, blues, takes a hit. Yellow now, range one.
And spend the focus for two. Blue takes one. Blue living on one. Does red now go on to stripes or try to finish off blue? There is Le Question. Range two on the stripes. Hit, hit crit. That is a loose stabilizer. Range one obstructed into the red vulture now. Or one. And the cloud will grant the conversion. See what Zam card there is. Zam will spend two charges to bonus attack on green. And will Dooku a crit here. So Dooku crit call. That's going to be hit crit in the green. And the evades rolled. What's up, Zim T? You got a question? La question. This is a girl, damn it. What are you talking? I don't I hate this delay. I have no idea what you're talking about. We go back to Dallas. We do have a scoring update. Let's bring in Gerd. Gerd! The score now is Rafi 40, Daniel 0. Thanks, Gary. So if you're Rafi, you have to be feeling good about that round. You've whittled away damage on almost all of these drones. You've eliminated a drone. You still have shields on all of your X-Wings. Sans one. Wanted to bet on the Rebels, but not against USA. Well, the good news is there's no Rebels to be found here. No idea what's going on. Lost the, the rails on my own stream again. Wish it was the first time. It's not. But it is L A La in French. This was a joke because he said "le question." Lucky I kept French. 
I almost got rid of it. Too many languages. We're getting rid of some. Did that last night. What a bit. What a bit that was. Is it all? Yeah. Go ahead and say that. Oh, puppy dog. Thirty-five minutes left in this match, and Daniel is. Uh, I mean, you gotta say against the ropes here. Still has a full Zam, but is bleeding vultures faster than taking out X wings. I can hear the competitors talking to each other. They can't hear me, obviously, but I can hear them talking to each other. You can kind of hear it in someone's voice when they feel like the game's going against them. You can kind of, like, when you're paying attention, you can kind of, like, hear the hear the tone subtly shift. So the way the sentences fragment and stuff. It's one, it's one of the pitfalls in, like, a competitive game or is getting so out of it so soon that you don't give your chance to mount that stunning comeback. We'll see. See what happens here. Games can turn on one turn, one play. I mean, we've seen it all, right? If anyone watched Matthew Carey's game last round, I mean, come on, what a play. Important not to lose hope is what I'm going for here. Isn't that right, Ando? Important not to lose hope. If you're just joining us, this is the next TC 2021 match between Rafi of Team Hungry, he's the captain, and Daniel of the United States. Me. This is the part that gets in my craw. Well, I guess damage engine too hard is white, so he doesn't get rid of it. Move forward. It does not bump. No bump for black there. Yes, Carson, not Matthew Carey. I get my people confused. You know, I suck at life. Guys, I'm a bad streamer. Let's just cut the crap. Bad streamer with like a decent looking stream. I like how the stream looks. Not a fan of the content. Yellow, one forward. Focus. Green axe way. And reveal the blue and barrel roll off this cloud, but will not. Goes through the cloud. We'll have to roll for a strain again. And finally does take a strain. Billions are built on hope. That's right, Sub Hedgehog. Is it the American style to win all their games in the last round of shooting? That's right. You see, in America, we realize that X-Wing is more than a game. It's entertainment. One bank sees there. And I think this is probably gonna be a boost. I mean, that, that feels like a boost situation to me. Can always boost and then get a rose coronate. The blue X Wing. Three banks, but that is just gonna bump. Good night, Zimatik. Sleep well, bud. Rose will go ahead and coordinate. Probably to red, I would assume.
4K from Zam. Zoom, zoom. Zam range one. Will Dooku a crit? Four big dice coming at you. 4v1. Oh, God. Kingdom for focus. Hit crit coming in. And hit crit going through. What is a damaged engine? Range one into stars. Two crits coming in. Stars. Can invade that. Stars is trying to calculate to avoid. No shot for blue. No shot for stripes. Red has a range one Bangaruski on either yellow or blue. It's gonna be into blue. Superior Zen says go Rafi. We got some hungry fans in the crowd. One crit. Evaded. Daniel's reds have not been particularly good. Range one into rows. Two hits there. Rose. I'm gonna calculate to just take a shield. Shield down. Now the X-Wings get to retaliate. Green, no shots. Yellow has to make a choice here. Do you go into Zam? Start recharging Zam's ability here? Or you take the range one obstructed shot into the red vulture? Sitting on two, so this is a 4v3 Bangaruski. Oh, that's actually 4v2 constrained. Oh my my. Hit, hit, crit, crit. GG's to the red. Gets natties, doesn't matter. Takes two crits. Red is dead. Just a word to the hip here. Don't delete your ships too soon. Especially if you have treacherous on your thing. You never know. Range one into blue here. 4v2. If Rafi's heat reds continue. Yeah, pretty good. Hit, hit, crit. Blue dies. Last X Wing. And he says, Come on, Rafi, you get this. I think Rafi's feeling pretty good about where he's at right now. Range three on the stripes. 
Rice is on one. So a good roll here can take him out. One. No mods. Stripes needs a natural evade. Gets it. And Zam will recharge two charges after revealing. Go to Gurg with a scoring update. Gurg. Rafi 70, Daniel 21. With 25 minutes left, players are back to dials. Rafi in solid control of this game. Daniel's gonna need a big swing coming up to turn some heads. Gonna leave you with Gurk for a second. Hey guys. We're approaching 24 minutes in this game. Rafi got a solid 49 point lead. Each of these X-Wings worth 42 on their own. Green X-Wing, almost dead. All other X-Wings, relatively healthy. Rose, a little worse for wear, but not too bad. And it looks like the X-Wings might be in prime, let's hunt some Zam territory. I agree, Star. <laughs> Belinda Mood, thank you so much for the prime sub. You're a prime person. This is XTC 2021 Hungary versus the United States. Rafi in control of this one right now. Zam largely untouched. Not largely, completely untouched, but these vultures have taken a beating. Only one X-Wing in a bad spot or a bad way right now. All other X-Wings pretty, pretty healthy. For some reason, green has a shield turned up. I think that's probably just a mistake. Green has taken damage, has no shields left. So we'll make sure they... Well, I can't actually do anything about it, but we'll call it judge if we got to. I'd like to avoid that situation. Molfar, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. We hit 900 followers and we're 90 away from a thousand. Gotta figure out something to do. If you guys don't know, I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays mainly, XTC events notwithstanding. Tuesday and Thursdays are my main X Wing stream days. We stream Mondays and Fridays, sometimes Saturdays as well. Just various other stuff. A lot of Star Wars stuff, a lot of just fun. We'd love to have you join our community. Exclamation point Discord and chat. Especially if you're another streamer or content creator or anything, please feel free. We do have a channel for you to post your stuff when you are live. And we like supporting you. So. Yeah. Closing wings here is green and going to focus barrel roll for stress. 
Cam does have a back arc, so I'm not sure that does you much good, but we'll see. Green also has damaged engine. That one bank better fit. Yellow reveals the blue. It's gonna spend a BB charge. Arrow roll and one forward. There's a focus. Red, one forward. And the trap has definitely been laid for Zan. No ifs, ands, or buts about this one. Blue is going to two bank. Clears nicely. Good flying here from Rafi. And focusing. Rose now. Two forward. Rose might just want to calculate up. But we'll coordinate. Just get a calculate from that. And we'll coordinate a target lock to blue. With a tractor. And this is a lock onto stars. Zam three bank and a nice boost. Oh. Oh, that doesn't clear stress. Unfortunate. Out the box. Range two on the green here. Is three V two. One. And safe. Please branch two into rows. Two hits. Rows. No rerolls available. Is it rerolls? Maybe rerolls? I don't know how rows works. It's hard. And that's half points on rows. Stars. Lengths there, gets an extra die, but oh my, that is just tough dice there. Good flying from Rafi is just business as usual. Not stuck in flying. Let me compliment the guy, come on. Oh, this is a double modded attack. be three into stars stars rolling two gets one takes two that's half points on stars yellow now is gonna pile into Zam. Hit crit. Zam is strained. And gets that evade. Takes a shield. Zam revealed. Gets a charge and a lock on the yellow. Rose is pretty happy in my opinion. Oh! I wish I knew what you guys were seeing. So I could react to what you're reacting to. Should have been a reroll on Rose. Yeah, I have Rose is confusing. I'm not sure anyone knows how that works. It's 
Horse and Treacherous. And actually, Treacherous negates that damage. Rain's yellow, negates the damage. Coffee can afford to make such mistakes right now. Keep in mind, there's a lot going on in these players' heads. They are thinking moves ahead. They're looking at the clock. They're planning strategies. They're trying to calculate points. Speaking of points, let's get an update from Gerd. Gerd? Your score now, Rafi 80, Daniel 36. <laughs> I know what you meant, Superior. I was just messing with you. So, does the one bank fit is the question? Or is green off the board here? I think it does. I think it pretty clearly does, to be honest. But this is, this is the drama of the round. Does the one bank keep green on the board? With a damaged engine, you can't too hard. Yeah, so Rose is the attacker. That That's what's always confusing. You don't know if it's Rose or the attacker, but it's always the attacker. So it can be Rose when, it, when she's the attacker. When she's getting attacked, it's whoever's attacking Rose. Thank you, Squirrel. Totem888 says... Rose is disposable at this point. I mean, you're not wrong. It's only 30 points. Right now, it's a 44-point game. So, you basically need three units of points here. Three half ships, whether that's a kill on green, half on another ship, killing Rose. And that's if you don't lose one of your other drones, and uh, that's a big ask there. Let's see if we get some thermal detonator drops here. Endo says, I never look at the clock. I mean, I guess not in like the matches we play, but... It surely fits. Yeah, I agree. I, Andy, I, I definitely think it fits as well. Bank is always a little more banky than you think. It's just a little, like, that's how I kind of judge it. I'm like, whatever I think it is, it's a little more than I think. And here come the thermals. Sam, drop in one. Sam, drop in two thermals. Clear stress. Going for that block ski on Rose. We'll link into a calculate. Rose is as disposable as she was in Rise of Skywalker. Oh, it hurts, but it's true. Yeah, you're right. Rose, 15. Just 15 more points. Not even worth it. Arrow roll calculation. See what these X-Wings do. Bump ski. Yellow. Four forward. Got a boost. Green. One blank. Plenty of room. 
Absolutely plenty of room. Red reveals the blue. Does they do they BB? Danger Way says, Take my luck, Daniel. Team USA has got supporters. And the focus there. Let's see how fast. Zam Wessel went. Oh, we got Rose first. Rose tempts the bank. It jumps the two forward, but does bump. Sam Banks. And we'll just change locks. And you know what? This is all in time for Daniel. Ooh, that catch is red. We got a bomb. No, no, uh, Dooku. No Dooku on this. Just gonna try and get something. situation. Hit crit. Two eyes. Just gotta spend your lock here. Hit hit crit coming in. Natty evades. One shield down. Rose no shot, so... Range one from Stripes into Rose. Rose should get two rerolls here. Natties, here we go. And I don't think he understands... Rose is out of here. Treacherous does recharge. So what happened on the thermal detonator was chat did not say that it was in, even though it drew the line. So they went by chat. Sure, Epi wanted to argue a little harder, but he does have a time crunch. Six minutes left. Pretty much one turn. This is where the fun begins. On the 80, Daniel 51.
Yeah, Marcel, two, two re-rolls indeed, but I think it's it's just a common misconception with Rose, I think. Because, like, even, even earlier, I was confused by Rose. It's whoever the attacker is, how many allies are in that arc, but... I really wish I could just talk to the players for a second. So, I mean, listen, this is not out of possibility. This is not out of the realm of workability here. If you take red off the board, you eliminate red, Epionic wins. He's made a game out of this. Hey, Hungarians are welcome here. We're a, we're a pro Hungarian stream. Looks like we're ready. System phase. One bomb drop. Hey. Stars. There's stress. Calculates. Too hard. Calculate. Blue. Allen roll. Onto the cloud. Toto makes a good point. It is very late where Rafi is. And we all know that that can affect gameplay. Too hard. Yellow. Let's see the miracle on ice, X Wing Edition. Focus. Damage engine, yes. Sam, too hard. Lose at two shields, but strained. And Sam is gonna boost. Trying to get a shot in on blue. Here we go, range two. Three V one. Oh, I'm sorry, it looks like blue only has one shield left. I didn't mark that, it's my fault. And he's gonna Dooku a blank to make sure the it goes through. And blue should get to shoot now. Blue has range one on stars. One. Stars, one evade. And we got time for one more round. So here's the deal. If Daniel can kill Blue, it's GG's. If Daniel gives up points at all, it's GG's. Killing blue is going to be a tough task. I'm not going to lie. This won't be easy.
you're probably not going to have any mods from your Q Vultures. Blue still does have a charge of BB-8, so we could go to either side. Does have to reveal a blue maneuver to do that, though. And this for sure is going to be the last round. So it's all up to the guns. For Epionic now. They haven't been too kind to him yet. But maybe for one round. Epionic is ready. Epionic is Daniel. Daniel is ready. Rothy taking his time. There's no clock now. It all comes down to this turn, so you might as well get the moves you want. Is three X-Wings in relative safety towards the bottom of the board. System face gonna be one one last thermal just for a little protection on the backside probably doesn't do anything. Stripes one hard calculate. I was expecting K turns. Closing wings, one forward. Bell roll focus. Ooh, that bell roll does fit all the way back. And bank the green. Everything to go right on this shot here. Multiple crits. Considering a Dooku. He needs a crit, so I think you have to Dooku. You have to, because you need that crit. You don't, you don't win without a crit here. He will not do do. You gotta spend. And that ain't gonna get it done. That is it. It's all points now. Only 
one shot here. Just going for a little extra points. And it's Natty's. That is a dead stars. An extra point. A 90 to 51 win for Team Hungry. And the USA Hungry series goes to one and one. Great job. Wonderful flying by Rafi. Way to make a game of it from Daniel. It looked over midway through, but he really pulled that one out and it came down to that last shot there. We'll be back tomorrow with more X-Wing starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Until then, we are going to raid the Kings. We'll get you some more XTC action. Appreciate you guys joining me. If you haven't, join our Discord. Give us a follow. Come back and see us. Appreciate it. And have a great night. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Two and four ships versus two, but with the beef that the Arc 170 has, likely hey, good game, guys. That engagement and maybe mm. even taking a couple M3.